Good morning, everybody. So today it is Bank Holiday Monday. Um, we've not long been up. We've had breakfast. We've actually treated ourselves. <laughs> what a surprise! Uh, we've had some bacon butties this morning. Uh, Tilly is eating Smarties. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at your face. Oh god! She's making them all sticky. Nice. Uh, yeah, she's already had a bit of a, a bit of a moment this morning. Don't know what over. We think it's over the pram that she's got, but she keeps wanting to sit in it herself. But she can't really fit. So, well, she can squeeze in, but then she wants to push in, and you can't push her in it. So yeah, so she had a bit of a moment already, but she's all right now. Now she's got smarties. <laughs> so yeah, so Anthony is just busy editing yesterday's vlog. Yesterday we went to the pine woods, which was a lot, a lot of fun. So, Tilly had a lot of fun as well, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, you did. Are you showing them your Smarties? Ah! you got Smarty dribble everywhere. <laughs> so, yeah, today is very, very miserable. I'll show you. Ugh, dull and it's raining. So, yeah, we're not going to be going anywhere today, unfortunately saying that we've been out for the last uh, couple of days so today we've got to get bits done around the house before we're back at work tomorrow so I've got to get all the fun stuff done like the washing and the tidying so like I say Anthony's editing as well so he's going to be a while doing that so yeah so no plans as yet for today probably more like a chill day we're just watching the turtles movie the second one so yeah so we'll tea, see what tea. We'll see where the day takes us. Right, I have been well and truly blagged here. So yesterday, obviously, when you've watched it, you'll see where we went yesterday. We went to the pine woods. So this morning, I've been editing the vlog, and we had a hell of a lot of footage. Uh, so I've been sp I spent literally three hours editing today because there was a hell of a lot of footage I had to go through to come up with you know a, you know a vlog for us. So I said to Lisa, I was like, right, well, I'll let you go food shopping. I'll get the editing done, and then we can tidy the house, get things done, and we can settle down and you know do what we've got to do. So I finish editing. Tilly fell asleep on the couch, so I took her to bed. So as I literally clicked export to render, Lisa decides to say, do you know what? How about you go shopping? Because then I can tidy the house while Tilly's asleep. So I got utterly blagged. I thought I was going to get away without going shopping for once. I'm not a massive fan of going shopping. But so I've been absolutely blagged basically so i'm gonna go and buy myself a new fire stick so i've got a new one in every room well not a new one but i've got one in every room then i've got one in the lounge in the front lounge one in the back lounge and one in the bedroom so i'm gonna put the new one in the front lounge because obviously i'm gonna do that because it's the it's the main sitting area so yeah we can put the fire stick in the back so that makes life a lot easier when we're watching things and obviously um the tv that we've got in the back the youtube app on it uh stops working from the end of june so we'd have needed one anyway so it's just a, it's just a good call if you ask me already just a good call so i'm going to take you around aldi with me and we're going to go to argos to buy the fire stick so come with me on this journey so I've just dropped the car off in Aldi car park while I leg it over to Argos to get my fire stick. Shiny brand new item to play with. Yeah. So I have it. I got it from Argos. <laughs> Look at it. All shiny and in a sealed bag. Why is it whenever I, whenever I come out on my own and I film in the street, it's always bloody windy and I never bring the muff with me. Annoying, bloody annoying. I think, oh yeah, looks alright outside, get there. Windy as hell, so you guys can't even probably hit me. But I'm gonna go drop this in the car and go to Aldi. Put that in there. Shopping 
bags we need. <laughs> Right, this battery's gonna die on me, so I've done shopping. Most horriblest chore in the bloody world. So yeah, so I'm gonna get home now, put shopping away. So, I came back from shopping ages ago, and we are still pooped from yesterday. Tilly wants me to play Nerf guns with her. Hey guys, so not really done much today. Uh, it's just been one of those days where you try and get stuff done around the house. Uh, I've done a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of tidying up. Um, and at the moment, we're, I've made a little space upstairs in Anthony's room, well, his man cave that he doesn't use, but he's going to start using, because uh, I've made some room in there now so that he can go and do his modelling upstairs, because um, it's just starting to take over the back room now, like the amount of boxes he's got is full of models and all the bits that are on his desk and stuff and it started to get a bit dangerous really because he's got obviously like he's got paints he's got um craft knives and stuff like that so till he's starting to like obviously trying to get hold of it a lot more and stuff so i decided to uh ship him off upstairs so that he can do it upstairs <laughs> no, i'm only joking uh but yeah i just thought it'd be better that he did it upstairs so uh now that he's got his obviously airbrushing compressor and everything so it's best that he kind of has a separate area for it so so yeah so we're just Doing, been doing that so uh, which is why we haven't really been filming much but the place is an absolute tip at the minute there's just stuff everywhere because we're trying to get all the bits and bobs off his desk and then ship it all upstairs so he's just um, I've taken most of it up he's now organising it oh thank you pass me that thank you bit of his Lego oops <laughs> um, yeah, so he's upstairs kind of organising it where he wants it to be. Um, and I'm trying to get the stuff down here sorted. So yeah, so at least then as well, he's going to have, um, he's going to be separate now. He's going to have this separate area upstairs for his modelling. And then all his um, desk and stuff is just going to be for the PC and stuff like that for when he's doing the editing and stuff like that. So I think it'll be better. He's more organised, which I like. See, this is what it was getting like till he was obviously like grabbing hold of all the little bits and stuff, which isn't good. Now she's got his phone. <laughs> You're not helping me today, you are you? Get on right, just have his phone, just have it. <laughs> so we're gonna be getting some tea. Um, yeah, and then see, we might watch a movie after. We wanna watch the uh, second John Wick's film, which was pretty good. The first one was amazing, so we won't mind watching that a bit later on. Oh, seeing as how Lisa's still hoovering downstairs, I thought I'd make a little snippet into what's been going on. So, as you all can gather from previous vlogs, Lisa has been wanting to banish me back upstairs for a while with all my modelling. So, you can hear Kinnear Tilly kicking off downstairs. She's not in a good mood today. So, Lisa finally got her wish today and banished me to the back room so i thought all those geeks together not that there's probably many of the followers um i thought i'd show you myself that we've just done so it's pretty simple basic so we've just move stuff from downstairs upstairs so that we had 
downstairs so this now is my table so these are my drawers as you saw last time but what I've done to create more space in the drawers so I've got my glues my files weathering kits kits for cleaning my airbrush oil paints thinners and mats and gloss coats clamps brushes new sponges that you saw the other day in the hall there for weathering techniques my new jar for when I'm emptying the any paint that's still in my pot into there obviously I can spray that into my pot and get rid of that the two sauce bottles that you saw in the hole the other day what they're for one is for water and one is a 50 50 mix of Vallejo airbrush cleaner there you go and water so there's a pretty much place for everything but what I am pretty chuffed with that I have made is this so the drawer that was in the uh, table I have now made myself an ink drawer so all my paints are in there so I use pretty much all Vallejo MIG wash and some Citadel paints so they're Games Workshop paints and all I did was put a little skewer in between them all and they sit there pretty nicely so they're all stored away to create me some nice space what we're gonna do let's get this camera positioned properly on the stand pointing and looking at me so there you can see stuff in the back I'll probably actually show you around the room what I've what I've got in here to geek out with as well first of all we're going to show you the models that you've not seen so first of all an Iron Man model this is one that I'm building to I do not want to touch this because I do not want to ruin it and I want it to be perfect if I'm being honest because when you actually see what people can do with them it's amazing absolutely amazing so I'm building up to that kind of link to it I've got a Captain America one so again building up to that one he is pretty simple to build whereas Iron Man's got lots of bits there's about 10 bits in this one easy peasy so you saw the Batman 66 I showed you you saw my two Gundams yesterday You've seen my Deadpool one before. The original Star Trek one. That's pretty much the next one I'm going for. Not unless I can get persuaded to do the next one, which I will show you next. And probably Dave from Dave and Sarah will be impressed with the size of the box. So this is the what is the 172 scale Millennium Falcon. Now you can see that covers my whole body. The rest of them aren't necessarily big. This is a beast. Obviously geek time, Captain America, Captain America shield, blade, <laughs> throwing like boomerang thing, if you've ever seen it. These were all the Marvel little miniatures that you could collect that was every week or every two weeks that were like so many quid, like six, seven quid cost me a fortune <laughs> and yeah they just sit in the boxes I've got a green goblin statuette that sits there and then obviously these are my comic books so you've got a couple of clerks and a Resident Evil Spider-Man's going through you've got Symbiote Spider-Man, Doc Ock and Spider-Man, Spider-Man Captain America and Red Skull first appearance Spider-Girl so nobody's going to be touching that we've got a Batman figure and a Slimer from Ghostbusters. But this is where it changes. Jason Voorhees. Friday 13th Part 7. Jason Voorhees. Friday 13th Part 2. Rob Zombie's Halloween. If you attack the Living Dead figures, we didn't really get into them. But the next lot, a full set of Goonies action figures. A full set. From Mikey, Mouth, Data, Chunk and Sloth. Moving over, we have more horror. I have to lean over here because I have a multi-gym. We have the tall man from Phantasm. Ooh, we've got David from The Lost Boys. Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. Hannibal Lecter. We have Sebastian Half. if you have watched Bubba Hotep. Over in the far corner there, you have Toxie from The Toxic Avenger. You've got Darkman, another Sam Raimi film, uh, hence film, Darkman. 
Dog Soldier's Werewolf, probably one of the best looking werewolf action figures out there. Uh, Land of the Dead, uh, Machete Zombie. And over here is from American Werewolf in London. Now, Flyboy from Dawn of the Dead, classic, classic. Otis from Devil's Rejects, another Rob Zombie film. A Resident Evil Zombie from the original Resident Evil. An Assassin's Creed figure, Hitman, God of War figures, Leatherface, the two Leatherfaces there. Obviously, one's from both, well, they're both from the original movie, but the two different iconic scenes. Chop Top from uh, Texas Chaser Massacre 2 and Evil Ash from the Army of Darkness. So that is my massively geeked out room. Obviously, we are in the midst of changing it round and things. Lisa does want me to get rid of some of it because obviously this room is going to eventually be Tilly's and I have to move into the little room. But... This room was like that long before we had Tilly. We've been here nearly 10 years. And this is the geek room. Are you eating dog food? Is that tasty? Yeah? Is that your tea? Seems like you're not eating any. So oh, we are in bed. You know the routine by now on the night before we go back to work. <laughs> With it being a bank holiday, Tilly's already saying goodbye to you guys. <laughs> so <laughs> so we bye. bye. Yes, no, just, <laughs> hold on just a couple of seconds. So we're gonna pack, I'm gonna put a movie on, fall asleep. Lisa will probably watch a bit more YouTube after I have fallen asleep. Tomorrow we have this video going up and we are going to apologize now for the lack of content because today has just been an extremely lazy day well, after... she's sorting stuff out in the house well yeah you've seen she's made me do stuff i didn't want to do so been a bit of a chill out day today and after especially after this weekend we've had a bit of a busy weekend haven't we Mm -hmm. So it's kind of pooped us out, especially with them two hot days at the end of last week. It takes it out, yeah. So we have some exciting videos coming soon. Lisa has two videos planned that she's going to do, and we're going to put up one of them. I am a bit late on. Yeah, the mum tag. Yeah. She is going to do, do it. I do apologise. She is going to do it, and yeah. she is going to do it soon. And we're going to get it up this week. We've had such a busy weekend. We've not had really chat time for her to do it. Because we were planning on doing it this weekend. But we will get it done this week. And it will go up. She, she's going to do her other video. Uh, on how she deals with anxiety. So let's see how you guys react to that. And see if any of you guys want to make one to go with it. And then you can kind of share with each other. How you deal with it. And that's probably it for planned videos for now. There's a maybe in the works a new him versus her challenge that we're coming up with. I'm trying to make it good again. Yeah, bye bye in a minute, Tilly. Bye bye. So we're gonna we've got that coming up maybe in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, I hope you've all had a wonderful day. I hope you've all been outside. Well, no, you can't really go outside. Cause it's been chucking it down, hasn't it? Mm. Hasn't it? So well, it might not have been where you are, but it has been where we have. So. Again, I hope you've had a wonderful day. I will see, we will see you tomorrow when it all begins again. If you like this video, <laughs> please give us that thumbs up and don't forget. Oh, she did it! Give you a thumbs up, oh, baby. Oh, she did I it, look! Ah. Oh, clever girl. Give a oh, thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, thumbs up from Tilly. <laughs> now you have to Honestly, give the thumbs up. Yeah, because that is the first time she's done it. Like, she hasn't even really done it before, no. has she? That was the first time for you guys as well. Oh, <laughs> she's pointing at you now. She's pointing at you now. You better give her that thumbs up. See, she's pointing at you. Thumbs better up. give her that thumbs up now. Thumbs up. Oh, look, look at that thumb. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, you clever girl. Don't forget, 
hit that bell down there as well. <laughs> So you get a notification every time we post a video, no matter what kind of video it is. <laughs> She's pointing at you. Thumbs up. Oh. I'm putting. I've already said subscribe. If you haven't already and you are watching for the first time tonight, please subscribe. Thank you to all the subscribers that we have gained over the past over the past month. It's been fantastic. We have gained 30 subscribers over the past month. Thank you all for watching and thank you all for subscribing. And we will see you again tomorrow. Bye. 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 -bye. <laughs>